Baby, I understand, baby. It was hard, girl. Them kids is raggedy. I get it, baby. I get it. I'm on your side. You hear me? <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. It's Vajlin here, your favorite wig influencer. And in today's video, we are going to style my natural hair. Before we get into this new look, if you happen to watch this video all the way through and you happen to like what you see, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All right, so come on, let's go. So listen, after I filmed this whole entire video i realized there was a bunch of things that i did wrong trying to style this ponytail because that's what i'm going to do i'm going to try to style this ponytail and the first thing that i did wrong was not separating my hair so i can evenly distribute the products that i was actually putting into my hair i'm gonna keep my correcting my mistakes as this video continues so this is the ponytail that i'm going to use to accomplish this look I actually purchased this ponytail at the beauty supply place. Um, she is Outre's pretty quick premium synthetic fiber pony. And the her style is Afro small. And I got her in the color T1 slash 30. She's a very simple wig. Made with premium, premium synthetic fiber. Secure fit with combs and drawstring. Quick and easy styling. Lightweight and breathable quick soft feel and natural luster so this is one of them throw on and goes and the way this heat is set up out here in florida i was glad to purchase her for about ten dollars <laughs> as you can see here i am sectioning off my well moisturized hair with rubber bands which is mistake number three if you have all natural please don't use rubber bands even if it just for a little bit it will pull out your hair so yeah i'm just sectioning it off so that i can blow dry it which is mistake number four because i should have did this style wet it would have been a whole lot easier on me less product and all that jazz now y'all can't tell me i'm not out here looking like baby kids you know and damn even though at my old age now, I understand, baby. I understand, baby. It was hard, girl. Them kids is raggedy. I get it, baby. I get it. I'm on your side. You hear me? <laughs> so now after I moisturize my hair, I am going to go in and pretty much just blow dry each section. Again, I should have done this look wet instead of blow drying it <laughs> mistake number 15 <laughs> but here we are all i want to say is shrinkage is very real because before this i was thinking like geez i can barely get these rubber bands on and look how long my hair actually is i do need to trim it i need to trim it like bad because I put some kind of drip drip chemical in my hair and the ends are looking horrible. So I do need to trim it. And my gray hairs are looking ridiculous. But we are gonna make it do what it do anyway. So let me just finish blow drying this and we'll go to the next step. Okay, so now that my hair is actually blow dried, I'm going to separate my hair so I can work in sections to put some gel and some beeswax into my hair to get like a sleek look. So I'm gonna start with the back first by brushing up my hair. Um, I wanna say mistake number 20 has to be, one, I should've done this wet, and two, I really didn't really need all this product because my hair was not as short as I thought it was and it could've just went all on the ponytail. Um, but again, I wanted to make it look like a nice slick look. So here we are. Now that I hit that gel hard from the back, hit it hard from the back. Now I'm going to roll up to the front. <laughs> I pretty much do the same method um, in the front and then slick back my hair with this brush and see what it's giving. So 
since my gray hairs are definitely popping in the front there will be no baby hairs slick downs with this natural look i'm sorry i could have did it i wanted to do it but i'm like yeah no <laughs> We're just not going to do that. We're just not going to do that. Now that I can get my all my hair into this ponytail, I'm just going to make sure that is <laughs> that is actually tight enough so it can stay and look nice because this was a lot of work i'm not even gonna lie i was out of breath and everything in my big self so i hit that with a little bit of that got to be free spray um because i want this to last at least a week at least a week because i'm thinking about braiding my hair so i'm using something called wrap strips from bread by kiss to help me tie down my hair um, before I blow dry it okay so now it's time for us to take this ponytail out the box I won't lie, she's actually super duper cute. She's a lot shorter than what I wanted. I was looking for something a little bit bigger, but this is what I could find at the beauty supply place. So I am just, so now I'm fluffing her out before I put her on. She comes with two combs, one on top and one on the bottom and a drawstring to make her extremely tight. Now that I put her all the way together, listen, she is very simple. She's very affordable. You can have your hair out. Like I said, it is hot outside. And this is one easy way to just put it on and go, especially if you're natural. There's nothing wrong with having a natural little ponytail. She is super duper cute with some big earrings. You can dress her up. You can dress her down. Sundress all day, all summer long. Baby, no one can really tell me that this is not my hair. I'm sorry, you cannot. Would I buy her again? I wouldn't hesitate. Where would I wear her to? Everywhere. Listen, guys, she is just super duper cute. And like I said, she's very affordable. So if you happen to like what you see in this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want me to go ahead and purchase more ponytails, I will and review them on this channel. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Later. Bye.